हेलो दिस इज मैंसुरेशन लेसन टू इन दिस आई विल डिस्कस बेसिक्स ऑफ सिलेंडर कोन प्रिज्म पिरामिड एंड स्पेयर्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल व्हाट इज द सिलेंडर एग्जांपल्स ऑफ सिलेंडर आर एवरीवेयर इन आर रियल लाइफ फॉर एग्जांपल कैन कोल्ड ड्रिंक कैन पेंसिल सेल्स ऑल आर एग्जांपल्स ऑफ सिलेंडर लेट मी शो यू डायग्राम दिस कोक कैन इज एग्जाम्पल ऑफ सिलेंडर फूड प्रोडक्ट्स यूज टू कम इन दस सिलेंड्रिकल शेप pencil cells they are also in the shape shape of cylinder so cylinder uh, cylindrical shapes products are everywhere in our real life now how the cylinder is formed you have to take a rectangular sheet here i have taken a rectangular sheet whose length is l and height or breadth is h if you will fold this rectangle you will get a cylinder what you have to do at your home take a a4 sheet of paper try to fold the a4 sheet of paper along its length you will get a cylinder now you can see that the height will remain same your length will become the circumference of the circle so i can say that 2 pi r your l this l will become 2 pi r the length will become the circumference once you fold it height will remain as it is that's how the cylinder is formed now let's discuss the formulas based on cylinder first concept is curved surface area of cylinder that is my area of curved part this will be equals to the area of this rectangle because this rectangle once you fold it becomes the curved part of the cylinder you know that area of rectangle is l into h your l becomes 2 pi r so curved surface area would be l into h here l becomes the circumference that is 2 pi r so curved surface area of cylinder is always equals to 2 pi r h where r is the radius of cylinder and h is the height of the cylinder total surface area of cylinder is always equals to curved surface area plus area of circular basis area of circular parts you can say that this will be equals to curved surface area is 2 pi r h we just calculated area of circular faces we know that area of circular will be circle is pi r square so twice pi r square because one circle is there on the top one circle is there on the bottom and what about the volume volume cylinder is how much water can come in the cylinder if radius is r and height is h cm volume is, is equals to pi r square h cm q that will be the volume of water that can come inside this cylinder where r is the radius and h is the height of the cylinder next solid is cone examples are ice cream cone why it is named ice cream cone because it is in the shape of a cone traffic barricades is another example of cone let me show you the photo this is a traffic barricade it is in the shape of a cone ice cream cone as its name suggest it is also in the shape of a cone so these are the practical examples of cone that you can see in your real life now how the cone is formed cone is formed from the sector of a circle you fold this sector of a circle and you will get the cone once you will fold this circle your o will come on the top the point a and b will coincide and c will come opposite to them so you can see that this radius of circle or radius of sector of circle become the slant height in this cone oc or you can say that capital r capital r this is slant height slant height of cone slant height of cone and it is represented as small r small l it is represented at as small l slant height of cone this small r is the radius now what is the circumference of the circle in the cone length of arc acb length of arc acb will be equals to circumference that is 2 pi r 
for the cone where r is the radius of the circle in the cone so let's discuss the formulas that used to come in cone or where you can solve the question based on cone first is curved surface area this is the cone curved surface area curved surface area means area of the curved path this is pi r l where r is the radius of the circle in the cone and l is the slant height of cone and you can whenever you have right circular cone in generally we have a right circular cone what is the meaning of right circular cone it means this angle from o to the center this angle is 90 degree that is that is called as a right circular cone whatever cone we used to discuss in our aptitude syllabus there all, all the cones are right circular cone it means that the angle from the top to the center of the circle is 90 degree in a right circular cone you can say that this is the height of the cone h is the height of the cone r is the radius and l is the slant height of cone you can apply the pythagoras theorem you can say that h square plus r square will always be equals to l square so if any of the two parameters are given to you you can always calculate the third parameter so that is the relation between slant height radius of the circle inside the cone and the height of the cone so first concept was curved surface area csa total surface area will be equal to curved surface area that is pi r l plus area of circle pi r square what will be the volume of cone how much water can come inside this cone if we take a solid cone how much water can come inside it this will be 1 by 3 pi r square h where r is the radius and h is the height of the cone so volume of the cone is 1 by 3 pi r square h next solid is prism now what is a prism prism is a solid in which top surface as well as the bottom surface both are congruent polygon no i am not saying regular polygon i am just saying polygon it may be a triangle it may be equilateral triangle it may be quadrilateral square or poly pentagon hexagon any closed figure can be the base as well as top but but both the top as well as bottom surface will be congruent you can see that triangle abe triangle abe as well as triangle cfd both are equilateral triangle and both top face as well as bottom face are congruent to each other so that is the top and bottom surface of prism lateral surfaces that is the walls of prism are rectangles here there are three rectangles you can see that there is a front surface which is in rectangle face left and right three surfaces are there which are in the shape of rectangle so that is the basic construction of prism let me show you diagram which will make the concept clear to you here this is you can see that this is a prism this is also a triangular prism because the base as well as the top are in triangle form you can see that the lateral surfaces are square so that is the shape of prism what will lateral surface area of prism you don't need to cram any formula for prism just apply your common sense lateral surface area means area of walls how many walls we have we have three walls which are in the shape of rectangle and what is the area of rectangle is length length into breadth in this case it will be a into h because breadth is a and length is h and there are three congruent surfaces three congruent rectangles which are the walls of prism so total lateral surface area will be thrice of a into h total surface area total surface area is lateral surface area that is 3 in thrice of a into h plus area of top and bottom surface our top and bottom surface is equilateral triangle we know that area of equilateral triangle is root 3 by 4 a square where a is the side and this will that will be twice because there are two surfaces one is top one is bottom so that is total surface area of prism what is the volume of prism volume is area of base 
इंटू हाइट यू नो द एरिया ऑफ बेस ऑफ द प्रिज्म इज रूट थ्री बाय फोर ए स्क्वायर एज इन आर केस द बेस इज इक्वलेटेड ट्रेंगल इफ द बेस इज स्क्वायर द एरिया ऑफ बेस विल कम अकॉर्डिंगली एंड वी नो द हाइट ऑफ इक्वलेटेड हाइट ऑफ प्रिज्म इज एच सो यू कैन कैलकुलेट द वॉल्यूम आल्सो सो नो नीड टू क्रैम एनी फॉर्मूला फॉर ओल कंसेप्ट ऑफ प्रिज्म यू जस्ट यू मस्ट नो दैट इन ए प्रिज्म द टॉप एंड बॉटम सर्फेसिस आर कॉन्ग्रेंट पोलिगन एंड लेटर सर्फेस आर रेक्टेंगल यू कैन ऑलवेज कैलकुलेट द ओल द फॉर्मूलाज अकॉर्डिंगली नेक्स्ट सॉलिड इज पिरामिड्स द बेस इज ए पोलिगन एंड द फेसिस आर ट्रेंगुलर इन नेचर द फेमस स्ट्रक्चर्स इन द वर्ल्ड आर इजिप्ट पिरामिड्स और यू कैन सी द पिरामिड्स ऑफ इजिप्ट आई एम शोइंग यू द फोटोग्राफ दिस इज द इजिप्ट पिरामिड वेरी फेमस टूरिस्ट डेस्टिनेशन इन इजिप्ट सो आई आई हैव मेड ए पिरामिड यू कैन सी दैट द बेसिस द बेस आई हैव टेकन एज अ स्क्वेयर यू कैन सी दैट द लेंथ एज वेल एट द ब्रेथ इज बोथ ए सेंटीमीटर सो आई हैव टेकन द बेस एज अ स्क्वेयर विथ साइड ए सेंटीमीटर now we can calculate all the formulas related to the pyramids again you don't need to cram any formula for pyramid area of base what is the area of base base is a square area of base would be a square lateral surface area area of walls how many walls we have we have four walls which are all triangular in shape and we know that the area of triangle is half into base into height remember that all the triangles will be congruent then only the the structure will be symmetrical so four triangles are congruent so four times the area of one triangle area of triangle is half into base of the triangle is a and height of the triangle is h remember that this height h this is the height of triangle height of triangle but this is same h is the slant height of pyramid for pyramid this is the slant height of pyramid but for triangle this is the height this h acts as a height of triangle but in the same time this h is the slant height of pyramid remember that so lateral surface area we calculated four times the area of one of the triangle that is half into base into height base is a height is h and what the word volume volume is area of base as in cylinder is same area of base into height now height is not the slant height of pyramid height is the height of pyramid i'm just making that ao will be the height of pyramid i'm just making ao this ao will be the height of pyramid this ao i'm joining this this ao will be the height of pyramid that is from the center of the pyramid to the top that will be the height h or you can say that height small h height small h of the pyramid now what will be the volume of pyramid volume is area of base into height area of base we know that a square that is a because base is i have taken square height remember that height will be of height of pyramid that is from the center of the base to the top that is small h that is the height of pyramid i have taken so in this way you can calculate the all the formulas related to pyramid remember that if the base is square this length this length will be the remember that as in this r case the base is a square of of will be a by 2 that is half of the base as per the diagram you can see that of will be a by 2 so there will be relation between these three sides you can say that this will be this angle will be right angle this will be a right angle 90 degree angle this angle will be a 90 degree angle so can i say that apply the pythagoras theorem so h square capital h square that is the slant height of pyramid or the height of triangle slant height of pyramid h square will be always equals to small h square that is height of pyramid plus of square so h square plus of is a by 2 square 
so you can calculate all kinds of question based on this basic concepts that i told you no need to cram any formula only thing is that you must remember how the pyramids are formed and then apply the basic concepts next solid is sphere sphere earth or earth is in shape of sphere globe that you can see in offices are in the shape of sphere football is also in the shape of sphere i am just showing you the photographs this is a football it is in the shape of a sphere earth is also in the shape of sphere globe that are there in the offices it is also in the shape of sphere now what is the total surface area of sphere if the radius of the sphere is r so total surface area is 4 pi r square where r is the radius of sphere volume will be equals to 4 by 3 pi r q centimeter cube if r radius is r centimeter so volume will come centimeter cube next is hemisphere hemisphere is half of sphere let me show you a photograph this is the half of your earth so that is called as hemisphere now you can see that there is a flat surface as well as curved surface so hemisphere will be in the shape of a bowl so curved surface area would be 2 pi r square as in sphere the total curved surface area or total surface area because in sphere all the surf total surface is in the shape of a curved form so that why total surface area was 4 pi r square so curved surface area of hemisphere will be 2 pi r square total surface area will be curved surface area 2 pi r square plus the area of flat surface as the radius is r area of flat surface that is circle will be the pi r square very important there will be addition of flat surface once you will cut the sphere into two parts and volume will be half the volume of the sphere that is 2 by 3 pi r q so in this way you can understand all the concepts related to the cylinder cone prism pyramid and sphere that is all about this lesson thank you